In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet under infinite algebra one, and it's going to be absolute value equations. I'm going to do all the odd problems in this worksheet. So numbers one through 17 going odds. And then in the next video, we'll do two through 18, finishing up the worksheet with the evens. So our directions are to solve each equation. And before we do that, I'm going to give a quick review of what the absolute value is. So say you have a number line, and I ask for the absolute value of two. That is equal to two. The absolute value of negative two is also equal to two. And what that's saying, the absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. So here's the positive two, here's the negative two. If we're looking at the absolute value of positive two, that is two steps or two units away from zero. And if we're looking at negative two, that is also one, two, two steps away from zero. You can also think of absolute value as converting a negative number to a positive number. So regardless of whether a number is positive or negative, the absolute value will always be positive. Now note that two can stem from both the absolute value of positive two and the absolute value of negative two. Both equals the same number. That means that this 42 stems from the absolute value of negative 42 and the absolute value of 42. Both of those equal that 42. So that's saying that this 6m either equals negative 42 or it equals a positive 42. So we're going to actually solve for two equations. So let's solve the first. 6m equals a negative 42. What we're gonna have to do is divide by six from both sides and get that m is equal to a negative seven. Now let's go ahead and solve for if 6m was the positive 42. If 6m is equal to positive 42, we're going to divide by six and get that m is equal to a positive seven. So that means that m equals a negative seven or m is a positive seven. Let's look at number three now. For number three, we have the absolute value of k minus 10 equals three. That means that this k minus 10 inside the absolute value is either going to be a negative three or a positive three. So let's solve for when k minus 10 equals the negative three first. We're going to add 10 to both sides to get that k equals a positive seven. Now let's see when k minus 10 equals a positive three. Add 10 to both sides, and we're going to get that k equals 13. So the answer for number three is that k is equal to either seven or 13, because seven minus 10 gives us negative three, and the absolute value of negative three is three, and 13 minus 10 gives us positive three, and the absolute value of positive three is equal to three. Moving on to number five, we have the absolute value of seven plus p equals seven. That means, again, that this seven plus p is either equal to a negative seven or a positive seven, since the absolute value of negative seven equals seven and the absolute value of positive seven equals seven. So solving for when seven plus p equals negative seven, subtract the seven from both sides to get that p is equal to negative 14. Now solving for when seven plus p equals a positive seven, if we, sub if we subtract seven from both sides, we'll get that p equals zero. So for number five, p is either negative 14 or zero. Both answers are correct. Moving on to number seven, 
we have seven times the absolute value of n equals 56. This is a little different than the previous problems because this seven is outside of the absolute value. So what we need to do is divide by the seven first so that the absolute value is all by itself so that we know the options for what's inside that absolute value. So dividing by that positive seven, we're going to get that the absolute value of n equals 56 divided by seven is eight. Since seven divided by seven is one, and anything times one is just that quantity that was multiplied by one, which was the absolute value of n. So now we have the absolute value of n equals eight. That means that this n is either a negative eight or a positive eight. And that's the answer for number seven. Number nine, again, like in number seven, we have a value outside of the absolute value. So we're going to start by dividing by this negative three. Now we have the absolute value of p is equal to negative 12 divided by negative three is a positive four. So since the absolute value of p is equal to four, we know that p can either be a negative four, since the absolute value of negative four is equal to four, or p can be four, since the absolute value of four is also equal to four. In number 11, we have the absolute value of n plus one equals two. Adding one occurs outside of the absolute value, so we're going to need to subtract one from both sides. That's going to leave us with the absolute value of n equal to a positive one. And since the absolute value of n equals a positive one, this n can either be negative one or it can be a positive one for number 11. For number 13, we have the absolute value of a minus five divided by eight equals five. We need to get this absolute value quantity by itself so we know what the possibilities or what the options are. So we're going to start by multiplying by eight over one, which is the same as multiplying by eight. And whatever we do to the left, we do to the right. The eights will cancel out since eight divided by eight is equal to one. And the absolute value of a minus five divided by one is simply the absolute value of a minus five. So we have the absolute value of a minus five equal to five times eight, which is 40. Now we know, since the absolute value of a minus five equals 40, that this a minus five within the absolute value equals negative 40, or it equals a positive 40. When what's inside the absolute value equals negative 40, so a minus five equals a negative 40, when we add five to both sides, we get that a is equal to a negative 35. So that's one possibility that a is. The other possibility is when a minus five is equal to a positive 40. When we add five to both sides then, we get that a is equal to 45. So our two options are that a is equal to negative 35 or a equals a positive 45. For number 13. For number 15, we have the absolute value of 7m plus 3 equals 73. We're going to start by subtracting that 3. When we do this, we'll be left with the absolute value of 7m on the left-hand side and the 70 on the right-hand side. So now we can look at what's inside this absolute value all by itself. So the absolute value of 7m equaling 70 is saying that 7m equals a negative 70 or it equals a positive 70 because either one when you take the absolute value equals 70. So looking at it when 7m equals a negative 70 we're dividing by 7 and we get that m is equal to negative 10. If we're looking at it when 7m equals 70 where that 70 is positive when you divide by 7 you get that m is equal to a positive 10. The answer is either negative 10 or positive 10. And lastly, for this video, we're going to do the last odd problem, number 17. But before we do that, please remember to like this video, 
subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. But hopefully now that you've liked this video, let's go ahead and go over the answer for number 17. We're going to start by multiplying by an 8 over 1, which is multiplying by an 8. And we're going to do that to both sides. So that 8 divided by 8 is really a 1. So we'll be left with negative 9 plus v, and the absolute value of that quantity, equals 3 times 8, which is a positive 24. So in doing that, we know that negative 9 plus v either equals a negative 24, or it equals a positive 24, because the absolute value of either of those quantities is that positive 24. So doing the math for when negative 9 plus v equals a negative 24, we're going to add 9 to both sides to get that v is equal to a negative 15. Now, doing it for when negative 9 plus v equals the positive 24, adding 9 to both sides, we get that v equals 33. So for problem number 17, v is either negative 15 or a positive 33. And that finishes up this video. Go ahead, continue on to the next video for the even numbers on this absolute value worksheet.